Hey, good evening, Map here, Map Investments. Happy Friday. Hope you're getting ready to enjoy the weekend. Uh, Miami Dolphins at Buffalo tomorrow in the cold weather. Uh, hopefully the Dolphins don't freeze. Uh, we got we got uh, Christmas around the corner. In days. Uh, amazing how this year has uh, flown by. Um, Anyways, I uh, haven't done a video in a couple of days since the last CPI report, I think it was Tuesday, and then we had the Fed decision on on uh, Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. It was the Fed uh, increase, they increased the uh, federal funds rate uh, by 50 basis points, and the market is not liking that. Um, I think there's some more pain ahead. Uh, we could take a look at, at the charts uh, at the end of the, the futures here, after we look at the futures. But um, it's not looking like a Santa Claus rally, in my opinion. We have a 10-year, about 3.5, um, up 3.5 bips today. The dollar, I want to say the dollar was flat while I was watching it today. It was up a quarter of a percent, almost to that 105 mark. Most foreign currencies were were down. Bitcoin uh, down 665 and I, it's pretty amazing how this Bitcoin is holding uh, this like 16, high 16, 7,000, 17,000 level. I honestly think this thing needs to crash to 10,000 and under and just get get everybody out of this crap. Uh, it's just a fantasy, in my opinion. Um, if you don't, if you can't touch it and hold it in your hand, you don't own it. And this is a big company, you know, like uh, Intel or or Verizon, or um, Cisco, Microsoft, stuff like that. I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I mean, you, you Sam the man is arrested. Uh, we're having congr congressional hearings. There's so much uh, corruption in there. You got Kevin O'Leary on CNBC uh, getting, getting caught up in this stuff and, and going back and forth with a guy from Binance. It's just it's just a mess. I, I wouldn't touch the stuff, guys. That's just my opinion. Crypto space right now is at about not even nine hundred uh, million. It's at eight hundred and thirty-five uh, um, billion. Eight hundred and thirty-five billion. I'm sorry, not even at a nine hundred billion. This was a uh, this was a. Uh, it got up to like I want to say two trillion plus uh, market. Uh, at least let me see how big how let's look at mail prices how <laughs> how uh big did the crypto it, it might have it, it, it might have gotten to uh i don't think it got to four trillion uh market got to uh, I don't know if uh, coin market cap would uh, show that graph. You know, I'm not sure if they would show that coin market. I thought I had coin. Oh, they changed. Oh, I thought I had. Oh, I can go to the website. I want to also want to see what Bitcoin's dominance is against uh, against the altcoins. Uh, right now, there are twenty two thousand cryptos, five hundred and thirty four exchanges. The market cap is eight hundred and two billion, uh, and Bitcoin dominance is down to forty. Ether is seventeen point nine. I wonder if you can see. See if it shows you the market cap. Oh, yeah, here you go. Thank you for sticking with me. I know we'll find it, guys. We're doing the research together here as we as I do the video. So it got up to basically... Jeez. You can see it, it got almost to 3 trillion. You can see the 3, the T there. Yeah, 3 trillion. That's nuts, man. That is just nuts. 
That's what happens when, when bubbles are created. And the Federal Reserve is creating bubbles. And now they're deflating the bubble. They're popping the bubble. So the crypto market, I mean, I, I just don't see anything there. You don't have to be involved, guys. I mean, a lot of people, thank God I, I took out all my eggs from there. And I rode the, the Federal Reserve wave. And I got out. And it's funny, some of my videos with the most views is garbage. Garbage coins. It's just nuts, man. It's nuts how this this whole system and the world works. Um, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. A lot of people lost money. A lot of people got scammed. It's it's incredible. Look, look I'll show you. It's just it's it's nuts, guys. You go to videos. You go to popular. Decentraland, six hundred and seventy six views. Compound coin, Civic coin. Cello coin. So my top five or seven videos are crypto crap since this channel has been going on. It's sad. Just energy. I think they went bankrupt. <laughs> That's the leading the leading video. Funny. So um yeah. In in this market you wanna be in capital preservation mode in my opinion. I think we're in for some hard times if the Fed continues the course i think you have to buckle buckle in and look for uh profitable companies uh, one of the subscribers um forgot his name let me see i'm sorry let me uh give him a shout out here because he, he he did some dialogue there with me the other day we were talking about um proud troll there you go proud troll hope everything's going good proud troll um he, we're talking about good times, and, and I looked it up, and um, I had done a video on them, and they lost 10 cents a share. It's about $2 and uh, GTIM, $2 and something uh, cent stock, and uh, they're in the restaurant business, and they uh, lost uh, 10 cents a, a share. So two, they were down 15% today to 2.34. Um, so you know my take and my my uh, my thought process on the Bitcoin and the crypto market. If you want to play it through options and do some maybe spreads and stuff like that with Bitto or some of the correlated plays like Mara, Riot, Coinbase, to name a few. I mean, you need you need uh, AMD chips, so that's another way you could play it. I think, in my opinion, to mine these things. Or, or NVIDIA maybe, um, but um, yeah, that's enough for the crypto. Oil down to 70, uh, 74.67. Now, it hit, it hit a low of, uh, on the day, I think I saw it lower than that. Yeah, 73.40, and it was all over the place today. Oil's been acting crazy. The fundamentals are still intact for for oil, uh, being that SPR at 40-year lows, um, and I think there's some good winners out there in the oil space. So I think that that's a space. The energy sector is a safe space going forward. Maybe look at ConocoPhillips. They have a nice dividend. Don't know when their dividend um, they X dividend date is, but keep that one on your radar. S and P down to thirty eight seventy two, down fifty five. Now. Something that caught my eye today was gold and, and, and silver. I think I want to say silver was up as well. Now, we might be seeing uh, an era here where hard assets are in favor uh, over paper assets. And there's times that that um, that that, that happens. Um, I think gold is going to go much higher, much, much higher. Um, and I think the dollar's getting toppy here, and I think the dollar will see new lows. And I think you want to be in precious metals. I think you want to be in companies, obviously, that pay dividends. And you want to be in companies that can pass along the, the cost, the inflation to the customers. And you also want to be in companies that people absolutely need uh, or can live without. 
in my opinion. And I think you need to be in emerging markets. You need to see how, how these emerging markets react to what's going on. The overseas markets were down yesterday. Um, so we shall see how they behave next week. I have my 401k parked in short uh, T-bills, uh, safe right now. But I think that my strategy is the option that they give me um, in my 401k is uh, for overseas, is on, it's by Fidelity. And it's this one right here called the Fidelity Diversity International K6 Fund. Um, if you look at the six-month chart, we're pretty much at the high. I'm hoping I can get it uh, maybe in the low 11s and 10s. And uh, I think that's going to be a strategy for me. I might dump, uh, I might buy in, in, in four scales. Uh, in the past six months, it's up 6%. Year to date, it's down 23%. Because the dollar has been strong. The dollar has risen a lot. I think the dollar is about to roll over, I think, here. Um, we shall see. But this fund is down 23% year to date. One year down 20%. Uh, lifetime is up 20%. But it's only been out since 17. Um, so I might throw something here on international. That's the only option I have in my 401k for international. So we talked about gold and we talked about the S&P. Um, hogs had a big spike today. I need to read the news on, on, on lean hogs. They were up uh, 5%. I don't know there's any news here. No news. Russian's oligarch seized 400,000 acres of Ukrainian farmland. I need to read about the hogs, but I know meat prices have been crazy. We had the feeders up a dollar and the cattle up another dollar. So meat prices are insane. Copper uh, got sold off and uh, probably when my head lower because it's an industrial and economy metal and PMIs were under 50 today. PMI was down big time uh, in the uh, economic news today. Small cap 1770 down 17. NASDAQ down 137 to 11.3. Dow Jones down to almost 33K, down 356. Net gas, has, it's just crazy. It's all over the place, down 36 cents to 660. Palladium and platinum have gotten hit, but they are, uh, especially palladium has gotten hit hard. Uh, platinum is pretty much steady at 1,000. Palladium has been hit hard. Um, could be, I would have to do more research, but it could be that car sales might be getting tough. Um, don't know the 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 exact uh, news on palladium, but it's come down some. Uh, and Russia is a big big uh, component of palladium. I think they're probably one of the biggest uh, producers of palladium in the world. Silver, like I said, I think silver is one of the most undervalued assets in 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 the world. And um, but the silver to gold ratio. It hasn't been favorable, fa favorable from our last uh, research and last video. Uh, VIX 2250 plus up some. Uh, let's see, silver. Silver to gold ratio. Uh, right now we're at 77. So what is a good silver to gold ratio? 15 and 10 to 1. So we, 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 we will see a spike in, in, in gold. We will see a spike in gold. Uh, and, and, that, and, that, and that ratio will, will get narrower, I think. And I think silver will then catch up. Um, why is the silver and gold ratio so high? A, typically the ratio is impacted by what happens to gold more than silver. Factors that influence the ratio include the profitability of mines and growth of mining supply. Changes in production 
and mines affect the price of gold and silver. So I expect gold to, to really spike. Uh, we'll see what happens. Corn has been very range bound, 653. Uh, soybeans as well, 1478. And wheat has recuperated a little bit from the big sell off. And that's pretty much for the futures. Um, on the stock front, I mean, I think this is a, a moment here that we're coming to that um, the market is not behaving well. Um, the Fed has their Fed, the Fed fund rate, I think is four and a quarter to 450. Fed funds rate. Uh, right now is four and a quarter to 450. It's the highest level in 15 years. Um, my work is completely, completely dead. I'm very, very slow. The dealers are telling me they're slow. People aren't walking in. It's very slow. It could be seasonal because people have other things in mind. People are traveling. People are getting ready for the holidays, etc. So that can have an effect. So we shall see what January and February brings to the car industry. But I think that it would be prudent for whoever watches this channel, you know, I would share it and uh, tell people to subscribe, um, to get the economic trends, the stock picks, the financial advice, even though I'm not a financial advisor, I could probably become one, but I'm not. I'm, I know I have the, the uh, knowledge and I've been doing this for a long time. And I know the derivatives markets, um, but I don't see I don't see a a good I don't see a soft landing to be honest with you like these guys are predicting. I think we're in uncharted territory. I think these interest rates being hiked so much is really affecting the car market. A and B, housing is next, and the stock market is also uh, getting uh, gonna get hit. So I think you need to prepare, and I think you need to be set up for. Um, there will come a time. So the Federal Reserve, unfortunately, has two choices. They, they have two mandates, which is price stability and, and employment. Um, they're trying to bring in inflation. And in the 80s, they had to, uh, Paul Volcker had to raise interest rates to 20%. Can you imagine what would happen to this country at 20% interest rate? We're at four and a quarter to 450 right now. And like all the economic indicators are rolling over. Our deficits are exploding. Um, the national debt is exploding. Consumer debt is exploding. Consumers uh, uh, savings are dwindling to all time lows. Um, it's gonna get ugly folks. Prepare for a recession. Uh, study about recessions and, and you know and, and and don't be in any debt and be prepared now now the the fed has two choices either raise rates and do what's right and and um you know like they said there will be pain and let the free markets work and pay and let people get money on their savings and get an, a, a decent interest rate on uh, return on their hard earned savings um, but we can't have this nonsense of 10 to 15 years of, of, of low, low interest rates. Now, our government depends on the Federal Reserve to monetize its debt. And right now, our debt to GDP ratio is probably 125% of GDP. And we can look at the debt clock uh, to, to verify that, which is a great website. Um, but let's take a look. So the U.S. debt clock, right now our our gross uh, our our GDP to uh, debt to GDP ratios at one hundred and twenty one percent of of our of our economy. You should come here and check this out. It's pretty interesting. This website, they say the uh, dollar to gold ratio is thirty one twenty, and the silver to gold ratio is four fifty five, an ounce. Um, check it out. It's pretty cool. So, so the Fed. Either, 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 you know, causes an economic crisis and 
and allows the free markets to work and the people that save uh, earn interest on their money and the companies that fail, let them fail, no bailouts because there will be bank failures, there will be a lot of things, uh, a lot of bad things will happen, a lot of companies will go bankrupt, but, but that's, that's true capitalism, not crony capitalism where you're bailing out winners and losers. Um, that's no good. And um, that's not how, how uh, this country um, was built. Enough of the nonsense and, 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 and let the savers uh, reap the rewards for saving and sacrificing. And uh, the speculators, well, that's what you get for speculating. So what do you do next? Like, what do you, what do, you do for the new year? I think that you need to preserve capital. I think you need to be wise and be in companies, like I mentioned, um, that pay a dividend, uh, that people absolutely need their product, big companies with positive cash flows, and your precious metals as, as a hedge uh, against inflation and the devaluation of the, of the dollar. Because I don't think that the Fed is going to go through with, with their promise of bringing in inflation. I think they will, it will get too painful and too ugly, and it will get political, and I think they will uh, reverse course, and, and that's when we will have uh, a currency crisis eventually. Um, so what do you do? You, 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 you invest your dollars for, 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 um, for an increase in value in assets that, that appreciate when the dollar gets devaluated. And that is in gold, silver, not crypto, uh, overseas countries that have manufacturing and, and um, they have the goods and pricing power. Um, because our country is about 70 plus percent a consumer nation. Uh, we, 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 we shop and we really don't make a lot and it's unfortunate. Um, but you, you got to prepare and that's what you know that's just what the stats say look at our look at our uh, uh, deficits our uh, trade deficits they're exploding so i've been looking at the s p uh 500 500 companies uh biggest companies and um you got to really try and get into stuff that that can play you a decent dividend and um, and you can hide out in this storm because dollars will get devalued eventually. So you want some gold, silver, and you can do physical or you could do the ETFs, SLV, GLD, or you could do a GDX or GDXJ. Um, and those are minor ETFs, junior miners and big miners. And those are ETFs in the precious metal. I think the energy sector will do well. And, um, and I think you need to have some consumer staples. Here are a couple of stocks that pay nice dividends. Huntington Bank pays a 4.5% dividend. But X dividend date was already passed. Uh, you have Medtronics in the medical healthcare field paying three and a half. Uh, I think these are good areas to hide. Mo Altera Group eight percent dividend. Um, people will that smoke will give up their cigarette. They they won't give up their cigarettes and they rather smoke than eat. Um, it's a bad addiction, but this company's paying an 8% dividend and it's a defensive stock in my opinion. And I think that's a nice place to, uh, to hide. You have USB, another bank, four and a half percent dividend, 
big bank. I'm talking about 60 billion plus. Fifth, third bank, another bank with 4.18 interest rate. Now, I wouldn't be too heavy in the banks because, you know, they may have some some write-offs for real estate and credit card delinquencies, etc. But, you know, they're, they're big, big banks, you know, they're, they're powerhouses. Cisco pays you a 318 and they're over a $100 billion market cap. In, in, in a technology sector. Now, one of my favorite picks right now, and I think it's completely undervalued, is Verizon. Verizon is 37 bucks a share. People need their cell phones. People need internet. People need um, need their services. And they're, they're paying a 7% dividend on Verizon. Also, another one that's really been beat up really bad uh i like clorox at 326 dividend hasbro's paying a 4.84 dividend but i mean they can go lower because they do toys and toys are not really a necessity i like tyson foods and i think tyson foods can maybe go a little bit lower lower but people gotta eat and uh they pay a 310 uh dividend also, Intel. Intel pays a decent dividend, uh, and and they're in the chip sector, and that stock has been decimated down to $26. Uh, their dividend is 5.42. And those are some of the places I think you can hide. If you're going to hide, might as well get paid to hide, um, in my opinion. I think the speculation is being popped everywhere. And you just got to be defensive, take care of your capital, stay the course. That's why Warren Buffett is one of the best. Maybe keep some dry powder for for rainy day, but don't keep too much. You know, keep, keep you know, six, six months of, of uh, bills uh, for emergency if you can. And, um, and try and increase your, 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 your income, you know, via, via a couple jobs or whatever whatever that you'd like to do i'm passionate about anyways that's my take on the markets i i kind of am seeing that we might be seeing a decoupling uh here in the near in the new year with with the metals and the paper assets versus the hard assets and i think you're going to start to see something in the emerging markets where emerging markets start going up maybe the dollar starts going down and uh, our markets are going to be in for, for some pain, I think. I think we're going to test the lows um, that we saw in October. Anyways, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Be blessed. Um, and we'll talk next week. Uh, hit me up with any comments. Share the channel. Help me grow the channel. Subscribe. If you have any, uh, any ideas or any stocks or any trades, hit me up. We can develop a trade. Uh, I, at your own risk, I'm not a financial advisor, full disclosure. Um, and anyways, take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye.